Hello, this is Pino Trogo from San Francisco State University. And this is the information design class. And we're gonna do number six item from the sketch layout for project number two. It's gonna be a map of California with the colored uh, counties showing um, deaths per 100,000 from coronavirus um, as of February 22nd. Um, so let's see. Uh, I'm going to start with the data set because this was um, a little bit tricky again, but I did a simple cut, well, simple sort of cut and paste. Um, I went to this again, New York Times website and I looked for um, California, which you can get to from different spots, but let's see. The total cases here, yeah, it comes up. So when I click on California, it gives me the California page and down below after the maps, um, it has this chart, this table, which is actually quite useful because uh, it's, you know, right now it's a sh snapshot of right now. Um, it also has these really cool little strips of color heat maps, which if you want, you could do. I have one way of doing it, um, maybe not ideal, but it works. Um, anyway, uh, I wanted the counties in California, so so this is it. Yeah. So what I did to get this information um, was I did cut and paste. Okay, like that. Just just straightforward. Copy. Um, and then paste into Excel. And now let's see if it works just as well as before. Oh, good, it didn't work as well. That's what I wanted, <laughs> okay. So what's happening is that you can you have to watch out because it, um, no, it did it right, Never mind. <laughs> I was trying to replicate what didn't work. Um, anyway, cut and paste and you get a pretty good start. So let me show you uh, what, what I did to show you the steps. So this is number six. Again, these folders will be in iLearn. Um, and let's see, my master one. So I had to do, well, actually, here's the trick that had to happen here. I wanted to have a file well, I didn't have to, I was going to make only one map, but I figured, okay, since the table shows me either cases or deaths, why don't I grab it all, right? So I have it all in case I want to do, you know, a comparison. And actually I know why I did it, because I was going to do a scatter plot, in which case I wanted to show cases on the horizontal and, and that's on the vertical. That's why I did it. So even though it's not used in that sense here, I grab both. So what that means is that I need to do two cuts and paste, okay? So I need to select this entire thing, you know, going down, there's about 50 counties, so that's a lot. Um, so copy this and then do the same for deaths. Now, if you sort by um, 100,000, either cases or deaths, you get a different arrangement of the counties, right? Because they're all different. That's the thing that we have to be careful later when we try to combine them, right? So, but anyway, let's assume I do a cut and paste of both. And I'll just show you a little section of how I did it. So this is the master file and I'll actually share this in iLearn. So you can, you can use it as a sample or you can add to it or, but I recommend you do this process because it's useful. <laughs> um, so I'll start with the original cut and paste and this I just put in to show where it came from, okay? So again, we have links, really bad. We don't want links. Um, and here it was shifted. You see, this, this was what was happening, it was wrong. It shifted to the left um, and total cases over the counties. I don't want that, right? So I had to move it. And this, all this nesting was a mess. So I cleaned that, I got rid of the commas. So this is the first cut and paste for cases. And this is the cut and paste 
still cases. Uh, why is that? Because maybe it was cleaning up. So yeah, I guess it did already some cleanup. And now I made those new labels, right? For the different parts. I still have the commas, that's okay. Um, but I still have the links, that's not so good. And then I have the, and this is sorted by name. So each county, right, is alphabetical, okay? And then I have that, and again, I sort it. And the way you sort, of course, well, not of course, but it's here on the data sort, you have to say always expand, otherwise it will get scrambled. You say sort, and here you pick county, and you say A to Z, okay? I'm not gonna do it now, it's already done. So we do that both for cases and for deaths. Um, and then you have to combine them, okay? And the way I do that is I just grab a bit and I just test it, okay? So what I might do is, um, you know, just, you have to select everything, right? So you have to, once you do this, you have to combine everything. Well, let's just do it. Copy or make a new. I paste it. So these are uh, deaths. So now I'm gonna go to cases. Copy. It here, the new sheet, and then I'm going to paste it here. And what you need to do now is just make sure that the states align, right? Because otherwise, again, it's going to be completely scrambled. And I can see that they do. I mean, you can just do that, right? To see if they. So just do a spot check here and there. <laughs> Oops, that gave me a little bit of a scare there. And looks good, right? So once you know that this is good, then you just get rid of one of these columns, right? I mean, one of the states would not need it twice. Um, and now you have your full data set. And now you can sort by other things if you want, but you know that it's correct. Each cell is correct. Um, let's look at this. And instead I'm gonna go. So once I combine them, um, I still have these links and then eventually I cleaned it and somehow I was able to get rid of this. Um, let's see, format, format cells. I was able earlier to get rid of the, yeah, it's a number. Oh yeah, see somehow here, it's telling me that it has the separator so I can get rid of it, okay? And now we just did it for those few, but if you did the whole thing, um, in other words, select the entire thing and then do format cells. And it's a number. <sighs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> I'm, I must be selecting some things odd, or maybe they're not. Maybe there's a mix of them. Anyway, I did it. You should just try to get it done. And then the clean version is like this. Now, <clears throat> The clean version, it's not so clean because it's got this garbage. When I try to like do a find and replace, it doesn't even let me paste it in. It's like a weird thing. It's like some weird character. So that's, I left it alone. And instead I saved this file, I'm not saving it now. And I, um, and I, Sorry, I saved it as a comma separated value and then I opened it. And here the junk is still there, okay? So you can see this is still junk right here. And if you know, well, I didn't know, but I knew later if I do a cut and paste, I mean a cut and, sorry, a copy and find, and I paste it, look what it looks like. And that's definitely not good. So we cannot have that. So I did this, I just replaced it all. 
and then I saved it again. Okay, so that was clean. So um, I'm not gonna save this. So eventually I had my file. So that took a little bit of work. So this is the clean version now. All right, and that's what I'm gonna bring into uh, Tableau. Okay. So let's move a few things here. Um, and in Tableau, it's pretty straightforward. Um, yeah, so because I didn't have all the counties for some reason, again, um, it had these holes and that's why I had to leave the under, underlying map. Um, but let's see, let's try to replicate. Oh yeah, I used this for the scatter plot too. Um, Yeah, so you can do circles here as well, but we did cases per 100,000. Um, so let's see how we do it. Uh, we do a new one. Uh, so the county, it's nice because it's already defined, right? It recognizes the name, it's already county. And so I double click that and it puts them on. Then I do that's per 100,000. And let's see if I click what happens. Yeah, it made a circle, right? You can see it just made a circle. And that's okay too, right? But, and that's the automatic, I guess. But let's see if we do instead a map. So if we do a map, it colors it. And now we're going to put again, the uh, that's per 100,000 under color and that's the map. So, so again, we, we, drew, we took the that's per 100K, we put it into color, it colored by a default and we can change that key here on the right, um, maybe it colors. And again, do a step version because a solid doesn't look good. And then under advanced, you can say start and the end, maybe instead of 322, we can say 350 because now we can, I think I did, I forget, I figured out how many steps to give me even 250, 300, 250, 200, 150, 100, 50. Yeah, so I did seven steps. Um, Okay, so the color, yeah, no opacity actually. I wanted it to cover because I wanna get rid of those names. Um, so I did the white lines again on the color. I made the border white. I'm not sure what the halo is. Let's see if I say none. I think it's a little shadow. Um, so, and then we add the names, the county names to the labels. And again, if we wanted to show them all, we click here, allow labels to overlap other marks. And now they all fit. Some of them are small and some are big, interesting. Um, let's see. Okay, that's five point is probably like how it's gonna come up in real life later. So let's say seven. Um, so Imperial County is not so good, right? That's really, really bad. Um, and that type, I think we could fix here, but we're gonna do it in uh, Illustrator later. Um, all right. Oh, I know the labels, the labels are, bigger because it's using also the size somehow, type. Let's, oops, let's try this again. 
Hmm. I don't know why it's it's putting the different sizes. It's funny. It's creating a scale for that. If you can do that. Okay, I'll remove here. So try it again. That's the new. Oh, actually, that's the actual label, the actual number. That's good too. And then the county. Okay, now well, there's still a little bit. Some of them a little bigger. Anyway, this is this is good. This is pretty good. So we would save this. Um, and yeah, in Illustrator, we could edit it, okay? And again, instead of, if instead of map, you wanna do a circle, then you have a circle and that's not, that's not bad. But in this case, you don't really need the color. Um, it's a little bit redundant. The size is enough, right? But that's the one we were looking for, actually, this one. So, map. Okay, that's this one. And the last one is gonna be, actually the last, yeah, next to last is a scatter plot, which will be quick, and then the uh, heat map, which I think I'll do tomorrow. So I'll stop this and I'll see you for the last two.